Damn it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Zippy Engineering. So, uh, doing some uh, investigative work on the uh, cam cover leak. Um, so, turn you all around here. So as you can see in here, uh, everything's pretty clean. Uh, it has a stock gasket on it. Uh, I pulled the cam out. It's a stock, it's an H grind cam, uh, which from I found, it, I guess they had them in 70 and 77. Uh, big twins so um, yeah I guess it's a little bit of a bump from the stock one honestly I don't I don't know what the stock size was that was in this but uh, we'll run it. It, it it runs pretty good so but this is what I found so there's an aftermarket uh, piece of shit cover and heat right here is probably where our oil leak is coming from uh, as you see, there is a big chunk out of that. Um, you see here, this is what it's supposed to look like. That is, that's no bueno. Uh, he had a whole bunch of silicone over that. I don't know if it was leaking around the silicone. I don't, I don't know what. Um, but the oil was coming out down here, so, um, on the motor. So I don't know if it was running down or, or what, but, um, yeah, so we're gonna try and weld this shitty cast cover um, before I buy a new one. Um, so yeah, last time I welded one of these, uh, it had pin leaks. It did not turn out well. It was also the first time welding any of this shit. So um, I don't have high hopes, but if we can get it fixed and get it to stop leaking and I can get it back on the bike so we can ride this thing then you know good to go so uh, I got it cleaned up pretty well um, I'm gonna hit with some acetone I hit with some brake cleaner uh, but it was it was the, uh, the stuff with chlorine in it so you don't want to hit that with flame because you'll produce like some mustard gas type stuff which is not good or chlorine gas uh so yeah that's bad that's not good um so we're gonna hit this with some acetone and clean it up and then uh see where it takes us Had to swap out cups there uh, in tungsten. I went down to 1 uh, The 332nd was jumping around too much. So, uh, yeah. And I went to a smaller cup as well. So, uh, it helped me get down in there tighter. And that, that Pyrex, uh, those glass cups, they don't like AC. So. So there we have our welded repair. Uh, so I think the biggest problem that we had there in the beginning is I think there's chrome on the inside here. Uh, they didn't just chrome the outside. So you saw a black soot that was burning off. I'm pretty sure it's burning through the chrome layer. But we're built up pretty good there. I'm gonna let this thing cool down and then uh, we'll file it and get it down to flush and uh, We'll see if it'll work or not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We might have a little pinhole in there, but uh, we're not going to know until we get it down. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. Alright, 
right, so see we got uh we got it all filed down um it's definitely that chrome on there but you see we are straight flat across uh to our mating surface so looks like uh we might be able to fix this thing now there's a pocket down here in the bottom corner that i can't quite tell if it got full fusion or not um if it didn't i'm gonna have to come back in here and put some more weld in it but hopefully it's good uh, so now all we gotta do is open this hole back up and uh see if it fits all right so we got everything filed down uh as you see our bolt goes through there nicely so it looks like on the inside um you can see where our repair is on there on the inside i don't want to go down too much further um because i don't want i don't want to weaken it um looks like over here might be a little shallow but there's enough flat material surface material that the gasket should seal around that so i think we'll be all right um only time will tell right so uh yeah we'll we'll get it back on the bike and hopefully that will solve our leak problem on this thing and if not uh we can always put more weld in it or buy another cover so yeah when in doubt just replace it all right so we got everything cleaned off here um you know put some yama bond on here just for safe assurance hopefully we don't have more leaks oh. Cleaned off all the oil so that the yama bond will stick to it. And then, um, yeah, we'll slap this thing back together. So there we have it. We have our repaired cover back on. Uh, all the push rods are set. <clears throat> we should be good to go. All I gotta do is I gotta put a new end on this and then I gotta do the timing for the thousandth time. Uh, I had it marked inside, but when I was cleaning the cover off, uh, I guess the acetone stuff took it off. So, um, but we'll uh, rejet this big ass SNS Super E and. Uh, Hopefully ride this thing to work tomorrow and or ride today and see uh, see if we have any improved um, spark plug color. So hopefully the rear one will, will be better. Um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Okay, so we got our car ball apart. Uh, there's jets that we're in. This is a 66. Uh, 66 and then a it had a 28 intermediate um all the stuff online uh especially with sns says that uh with this motor stock with open bikes and stuff we should run a, a 68 and a 295 so i have a master jet kit and we have a 68 there and then a 295 intermediate 
Um, so, yes, this is a bigger intermediate, um, which, you know, we'll see how it does. The, uh, the mixture screw was like four turns out, so um, the little 28 was getting a bunch of fuel anyway. So we'll see how this does, and then uh, if we still have our same problems uh, of coughing through the carb and all that stuff, we'll, uh, we'll adjust it, we'll jet the intermediate back down. Um, but we gotta see where our mixture screw ends up and then go from there. So, yeah, we'll uh, throw this all back together and put some exhaust back on it and fire her up. all back together now we gotta do is finish the ignition timing and put the put the pipes back on and uh, we'll see how it runs uh, before I do that before I forget uh, I'm gonna reset this mixture screw um, so SNS says you start at like uh, one and a half you see we were we were pretty far out there so um, that's all the way seated. So that's one turn, that's a half turn. Um, so we'll start there. And then uh, if it needs more, then we'll adjust it from there. And then if we go too far out with that screw, hopefully we shouldn't have to go too far. Uh, then we'll do a jet change again. Um, but yeah, well you gotta get all warmed up before we adjust all that stuff. Um, really I wanna see how it does idling. If it gets hot again, if it loads up. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So that's coming up. All right, so we got her all back together. Got the exhaust back on. Uh, and made a little adjustment on the exhaust so it fits a little bit better. Uh, it was hitting the kicker, but hopefully uh, that's taken care of. So got the ignition timing done. Spined over a couple times, make sure our push rods uh, were good. Um, so yeah, we'll see if it uh, we'll see if it fires off. Uh, I haven't tried to start it yet, so. Let's see what happens.
so uh, as you saw still first kick so uh, we'll get her warmed up and take her for a spin tune the carb in a little bit um, but yeah uh, it's promising right so we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully we can put some miles on it now and avoid any more leaks but we still have to address that transmission leak uh, it's still pretty bad so uh, I gotta make a socket to take that uh, sprocket off and then uh, I can pull it and we can see what's going on back there. But um, that is the main leaking uh, problem with these four speeds, I guess you could say. Um, they seem to all leak from that main shaft, or at least that's what everybody says. So um, the rest of it's clean and dry now, and that's really the only spot. So that's the only other spot in the case, so it has to be coming from there. So uh we'll tear into that at some point uh right now i just want to ride it so uh take care everyone we'll see you later